Um, I'm Peter Chaikin from JBL Professional. I'm the Director of Recording and Broadcast uh, Marketing. And that involves product development and also getting the word out. And at the show, we're showing the MSC-1, MSC-1 Monitor System, system Controller. The MSC-1 is basically two things in one. And on the surface, it's cleverly disguised as a switcher that lets you listen to three different input sources. Right now, I'm listening to a CD player. I'm listening to my iTunes or a DAW. And I could listen to an iPod or anything else I plug into it. It's balanced in and out. It'll actually output plus 24, so it's a very professional device. And you can listen on two different sets of speakers. Right now, we're listening on eight-inch speakers. Now we're listening on five-inch speakers. And to those eight-inch speakers, we can add a subwoofer. And when we do that, we can adjust, and you'll see there's software on the screen. We can adjust, adjust the level of the sub. We can EQ the speakers. And you'll notice that when I change these curves, I can change the EQ on the speakers. And all of this is in the controller. So we can listen to three input sources on two sets of speakers. We can integrate a sub into an existing stereo system. It's got crossovers. It's got polarity. It's got delay. It's got EQ. But then the magic really happens when we plug a microphone into this and we tune the speakers to the room. So what do we mean by that? Chances are, unless your room was uh, professionally designed, it's got low frequency issues. We call them room modes or standing waves. And basically what those are, it's, it's the frequency at which the room resonates. Sitting at the mix position in a project studio, you may be hearing bass or conversely a lack of low frequency that really misleads you in the low frequency area. It makes you think you got too much bass in the mix or not enough bass in the mix. Part of the solution to that is putting your low frequency into a subwoofer and moving the sub around. But better yet, if you can tune the, if you can measure the room and tune the speakers to overcome those low frequency problems, then the speakers in the room work as a reference. And you know that anything you mix in your room is going to sound good in your car or in the club or in his living room. I mean, and that's really the goal in the recording studio. We want to know that the track that we're mixing doesn't just sound great where we're sitting, but sounds great where you're listening and in the theater and everywhere else. But the problem is rooms have problems, and unless you detect those problems and deal with them, you don't know what you're putting out there because they lead you to believe you're getting something that you're not getting. So the MSC-1 with this software lets you tune the room, uh, tune the speakers to the room, actually, so that your speakers in the room behave like a uh, reference. They work in harmony to give you a better mix. And that's what we've been doing now for three generations of speakers. We now put it in a box. This room tuning is in a box that works with anybody's speakers. So the MSD-1 will actually work to tune any speakers you got connected to it. And you'll see with all this software um, comes with it and the microphone, tuning microphone, lets you um, tune the speakers to the room and it walks you through the process of not just tuning the speakers, but tuning your whole system to make sure that what you're getting is really reference quality. And it's all animated and very, very, very simple. It shows you what to connect. Uh, the big news at this show, this has been in the market now for about a year, the big news at this show is that this is all on Mac now. So we're showing the Mac software, we'll ship it at the end of the month, the end of November. And that means that Mac customers can now take advantage of the room tuning as well as all the switching. And it's a very affordable product that lists for 375 and you'll see it advertised for, for less. Um, but it's designed to really work with our low end, our, our affordable speakers or anybody's affordable speakers. But it's finding a lot of popularity in broadcast control rooms and uh, home studios and project studios just because it, it really helps you to get better mixes. You can use this with uh, any of the low-end speakers. What, what models does this work with? Well, this will work with anybody's speakers, passive or active. Basically, you feed all of your, you feed your stereo mix to the unit, and you fan it out to multiple sets of speakers, and you can also plug multiple input sources into it. So it doesn't matter what speakers you're using, passive or active. Um, in the case of p passive speakers, you take the feed to the power amp into the box and out of this into the power amps. But just about everything today is a active, you know, powered speakers. Now, using it though with the software, which which of the JBL to do the uh, to tune the monitors to the room, which 
which uh, of the line works the best with this? Good. Yeah, well, we designed it, ideally, we think that the hot setup is the LSR 2300 series speakers. This is our new affordable line of speakers. They're very affordable. And rather than putting the room tuning in the speakers, as we did in the past in our other two lines, we put it in a box that works with this line or with anybody's speakers. So the 2300 series is really the ideal, you know, this is really the ideal companion to that series. But people are using these with, you know, speakers that cost three, four times as much just to, you know, tune their rooms and manage their inputs. And, uh, but it's really the companion for this line. It's why we did it. Fantastic. So that's a good question. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks, Gina. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah.